Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Patrick Bodner, Vice Provost of Parker University, and I'm honored to celebrate commencement with the class of December 2019. To continue our ceremony, please join me in standing for the singing of the national anthem by Parker University alumna, Dr. Robin Boshears Patrick. Afterwards, please remain standing for the invocation. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets wreck glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave okay. let's bow our heads Generous and loving God, today our hearts are filled with gratitude. Thank you for guiding us to this wondrous commencement day. Thank you for our graduates, family and friends, teachers and mentors who have helped them get to this moment and see that great things are in the reach for those who serve others. We hope their happiness be at least as great as ours on this joyful occasion. Bless all the faculty, administration, and staff at Parker University who have educated our graduates intellectually, spiritually, and physically. Wherever life takes our graduates, please grant them trust in themselves and others, courage to stand up for what is right and just, and empathy and compassion to be a force of light for people in need. Please help them see that dreaming isn't about self-gain, but rather seeing beyond that what limits, harms, and agonizes humankind. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, and please take your seats. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Uh, please join me in welcoming Parker University's Executive Vice President and Provost, Dr. Jane Moschella. Thank you, Dr. Bodner. I'm pleased to welcome everyone here today. Graduates, commencement marks a major milestone in your lives. As you begin this new journey, please join me in thanking a very important group of people, your parents, family members, and friends. They are also guests of honor at today's celebration. We have many veterans, active duty military personnel, and military family members with us today. Please stand if you are on active duty, retired, or a veteran. On behalf of Parker University's family, thank you for your service to our country. Parker University officially opened September 12, 1982 with 27 students in Irving, Texas. The charter class graduated in September 1985. Yay! <laughs> Today we are participating in the 16th commencement program of the College of Health Sciences and our 14th commencement program for the College of Business and Technology. I would like to introduce the platform party. Dr. William E. Morgan, our president.
Dr. Oliver Smith, Chairman of the Parker University Board of Trustees. Dr. Christina Hartley, Parker University Alumni Board Member. And to my left, Dr. Patrick Bodner, Vice Provost. Mr. Ken Malcolmson, President and CEO of the North Dallas Chamber of Commerce and our commencement speaker today. And Dr. Eric Russell, Dean of Student Engagement and Special Projects. It is appropriate and important to recognize a group of dedicated individuals who have given much time and effort to assist these graduates in achieving their goals and helped make this day possible. We at Parker University believe we have the finest faculty and staff of any institution in the world. I would like the faculty and staff to stand and receive acknowledgement for your efforts. Thank you. I know, they're great. Carrying the ceremonial flags are Angela Duell, Program Director of the Occupational Therapy Assistance Program. Gar <laughs> Gary Hokanadel II, Program Director of the uh, Business Programs. And serving as our faculty marshals today are Gregory May, Assistant Director of the Massage School, and Rick Salazar, Instructor for the Massage Therapy Program. Thank you for your assistance in this commencement. Okay, Mr. Ken Malcolmson has served as the president and CEO of the North Dallas Chamber of Commerce since June 2017. He is responsible for the oversight of all chamber programs, operations, new member generation, and communications with the board of directors. In addition, Ken leads the staff of the North Dallas Chamber and the chamber's strong public affairs presence in the Dallas area. Prior to joining the North Dallas Chamber, Mr. Malcolmson had a lengthy career as an executive in the health insurance and benefits business with Aetna, Towers Perrin, Cigna, Express Scripts, and most recently as the West Region CEO for the commercial segment of Humana. Immediately before joining the chamber, he served as the CEO of a healthcare startup, Afferent Provider Solutions. Ken also has a real passion for civic engagement as evidenced by his key impact roles in numerous nonprofit organizations. He has served on the boards of directors of the YMCA of Metro Dallas, the Dallas Regional Chamber, Momentus Institute, the Dallas Breakfast Group, the Dallas Friday Group, and the Friends of Katie Trail. Mr. Malcolmson has a BA in political science and government from Southern Methodist University, where he has served on the board of trustees chair of the SMU Alumni Board, and a multitude of executive and advisory boards. Please help me welcome a great friend to Parker University, Mr. Ken Malcolmson. Excuse me, I apologize. I'm trying to relocate my notes, so thank you very much and look forward to visiting with you for a few minutes today. Dr. Morgan, graduates, families, and friends. When I received the invitation from Drs. Moschella and Russell to speak to you today, I was thrilled and beyond honored. You see, I have great respect for Parker University and its many meaningful contributions to our community. The legacy that Dr. Parker left in both North Texas as well as in the global chiropractic community is simply immeasurable. I'm proud to be associated with Parker in some small way. So I was asked to speak to you today about an event that impacted a large swath of the North Dallas landscape. And before I get into the details of our micro look at this uh, event, 
I want to acknowledge um, the significant disruption that Parker University has experienced relative to the tornado that came through our area on October 20th. Uh, seven buildings lost, $40 million in damage at the university. It's profound, it's significant, and yet here we are today um, experiencing this great celebration. And that's a real testament to everyone at Parker um, and finding ways to work through some of the adversity that you've all experienced. I was simply going to tell you a story that is on a much more micro level about our experience. So as we all know, on Sunday night, October 20th, we found ourselves under siege by a 140 mile per hour tornado that touched down with over a 17 mile route from West Dallas through North Dallas, Richardson, and ultimately Garland. The destruction in this densely populated area was substantial, with estimates exceeding over $2 billion in damages. At the same time, in spite of the intensity of the storm and the path it took, there was not a single fatality, nor even a serious injury. This was truly a miracle, and in spite of the devastation, an amazing silver lining. The North Dallas Chamber of Commerce has been doing great things in the North Dallas community since 1954. And we've had a building at the Southwest Quadrant of Preston and Royal since 1979. It was only 18 months ago that we opened our brand new building on that same site, and it was truly our pride and joy. But as fate would have it, Preston Royal had often been referred to as the epicenter of, of the tornado's wrath. Our worst fears were confirmed when we were finally able to get to our building that Monday morning. As an aside, that morning was what I would characterize as surreal. First, we had to talk our way through multiple police blockades, and we could only get within about a half a mile of our building due to all the fallen trees and debris. I found myself walking down the middle of Preston Road, dodging down power lines, telephone poles, and massive piles of storm debris. It was also surreal since one of the busiest intersections in Dallas was eerily quiet. When we finally reached our building, it was apparent there was mass destruction, not just relative to our building, but in the entire neighborhood. The roof of our building was literally found inside of the next door bank building, and the entire two southern quadrants of Preston and Royal were in effect destroyed. While we were hopeful we could salvage as much as possible from our building, it was also apparent that, that, that there would be very little that we could. Other buildings and homes in our vicinity suffered even greater damage. So our small staff of six mobilized quickly each one taking on specific responsibilities, often without being asked to do so. With, uh, by the end of that first day, we had a contractor on site who boarded up all the windows and doors and put on a temporary roof of our building. Within 72 hours, the interior of the building, building was already demoed by that same contractor after we had salvaged what records and memorabilia and other stuff that we could and transported everything into storage units in Addison. We also immediately established a P.O. box at another post office because the one closest to us was also destroyed. Our team worked diligently, quickly, and independently, canceling service contracts, working with our insurance adjuster and public adjuster, ensuring our website and social media services were operational, and began regular communications to our members the community at large, and other stakeholders. Fortunately, the vast majority of our information was stored in the cloud and was easily accessible once we equipped each of our staff members with new laptops and other technological tools, again, all within 72 hours. The biggest challenge we faced was relocating 24 events that were already on the calendar between October 21st and the end of the year. Thanks to dozens of offers from our generous members, our chief operating officer was able to do just that within one week. He accomplished that while not only, 
not having an office to go to, but his home was also destroyed in the tornado. Now we have all of our events through March relocated as well. So simply amazing. And as a team, much like many of the staff at Parker, we decided to work from our homes rather than establish new offices during this interim period of time. Now, six weeks out from that fateful day, the North Dallas Chamber of Commerce hasn't missed a beat. And while we've settled into a new normal, it's business as usual. In the meantime, we are waiting on feedback from our structural engineer regarding the integrity of the four, four walls that are still standing, which will dictate how quickly we can rebuild. You know, I can't help but think of the parallels between the experience of the North Dallas Chamber of Commerce and Parker University and your academic careers. Words or phrases like overcoming adversity, resilience, and grit immediately come to mind. Each of you, through your perseverance, have accomplished much in your academic experience, which has prepared you well for this next stage of your life. You should all be very proud. Graduates, families, friends, faculty and staff should all take a bow for a job well done. So here are just a few of the things we learned from our disaster recovery experience that can apply to each and every one of us as we enter this next phase of our lives. First, be prepared. As an Eagle Scout, I have deep respect for the Boy Scouts motto. We all need to be ready for anything that may come our way and develop contingency plans for when things don't go as planned. Second, adopt an attitude of gratitude. Be thankful for those silver linings and our many blessings in the face of adversity. I'm grateful that there were no fatalities nor serious injuries from the tornado. I'm grateful for our incredible, incredibly productive staff. I'm grateful for the generosity of, the, of our members and the, our friends in the community. So what are you grateful for? Third, be positive. Take on each day with a sense of hope, promise, and optimism, regardless of the challenges you are facing. And believe me, you will face many in your business careers. I have 45 years of scars to show for it, but I've never felt more energized or engaged as I do right now. Every day is a new adventure. Fourth, adopt the concept of we over me. Minimize the word I in your vocabulary. If you subordinate yourself in a conversation, it's amazing how your conversational skills will improve. One of my favorite ads is for an insurance company. Every year on the 4th of July, they have this full page ad in every major newspaper in the country. It says, there are 1,458 words in the Declaration of Independence, and not one of them is me, I, or my. Happy Interdependence Day. Fifth, be decisive. Take action immediately when faced with adversity. As we say in corporate America, be willing to fail, but fail fast. Sixth, don't, don't lose sight of the big picture. My favorite business quote is from the iconic founder of FedEx, Fred Smith, who once said, the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. So don't get too wrapped up in the details and don't spend time on things you simply can't control. Seventh, be informed and engaged. Establish connections and a network in your respective communities. You will receive a high return on your investment of your time. And I implore you to subscribe to as many local news sources as you do national ones. What happens at the local level impacts your life much more than what happens at the national level. And I use as an example for civic engagement, as, uh, as it's often measured, is voter turnout. Um, Texas can be veritably referred to as a national disgrace in terms of civic engagement as measured by voter turnout. We are 50th out of 50 states in terms of people that are engaged in the voting process. So please, please, 
engage, engage in your community. And, and eighth, give back. Give back. One of my other favorite quotes is from the legendary UCLA basketball coach, John Wooden, who once said, you cannot live a perfect day without doing something for someone else while not expecting anything in return. So, let me close today by saying there, there is no limit to the value of an education. Remember, your brain is a muscle which needs to be exercised in diverse and energetic ways. 30% of college, grad, college graduates never read another book in their life. So keep exercising that brain. Your degree today is only the beginning. Be sure to capitalize on your rich experiences here at Parker as you begin this next phase of your life. Much like the North Dallas Chamber of Commerce and the adversity that we've experienced and Parker University and the, and the adversity that Parker has certainly experienced, I'm confident you will overcome whatever obstacles that are placed in front of you as you go forward in life in large part because of your experience here at Parker. My very best wishes to all of you and congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Malcolmson, for your great commencement speech today. On behalf of Parker University, I would like to give you this plaque to commemorate your contributions. We appreciate you and all that you do to advocate for North Dallas and Parker University. Thank you. Please join me in welcoming Parker University's Dean of Online and General Education Programs, Ms. Roxanne Kemp. Good afternoon. I heard a woo out there. Parker University is accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges in the state of Texas. Also, on this day, Parker University is celebrating the conferring of degrees to our inaugural graduating class for the Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Yay. <laughs> we would also like to recognize graduates from the following programs. Bachelor of Science with a major in com Computer Information Systems, Bachelor of Science with a major in General Studies, Bachelor of Science with a major in Psychology, Associate of Science with a major in Computer Information Systems, and a Certificate in Information Technology. Next, it is my honor to introduce the Dean of the College of Health Sciences, Dr. Drew Reif. Good afternoon, everybody. Parker University is also celebrating the conferring of degrees to our inaugural graduating classes for the Master of Business Administration with a concentration in practice management. So congratulations to those individuals. <laughs> we would like to take the time on this special day to recognize those who have earned the following degrees. A Master of Business Administration with a concentration in healthcare management. A Master of Business Administration with a concentration in pa practice management. A Bachelor of Business Administration with a concentration in healthcare management. A Bachelor of Science with a major in health information management. An Associate of Applied Science in Massage Therapy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> An Associate of Applied Science in Occupational Therapy Assistant. <laughs> An Associate of Applied Science in Radiologic Technology. Okay. <laughs> See, now it just has to get louder and louder so the rest of you know. Um, an Associate of Applied Science in Diagnostic Sonography. <laughs> and a Certificate in Massage Therapy. <laughs> Congratulations to you all. And I would like to bring back to the podium, Dr. Eric Russell. The 
Graduates, please stand. Those assisting the conferring of the degrees, please take their places. I present to you the graduating class of December 2019. The faculty have determined that each of these students has completed or will soon complete all the requirements for the degrees, and the faculty have certified them in being worthy of the title. We have graduates in the Certificate, Associate, Bachelor's, and Master's programs who will be receiving honors today. Those graduates are awarded this distinction by completing their program with a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher. Graduates receiving an associate's degree or a certificate with a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher will be recognized with a white honor cord. Graduates receiving a bachelor's degree will be recognized by their cumulative GPAs the following. Cum laude with praise, GPA is 3.5 to 3.74, indicated with a blue cord. Magna cum laude with great honor, GPA is 3.75 to 3.89, indicated with a silver cord. Summa cum laude with highest praise, GPA is with 3.9 to 4.0, indicated by a gold cord. We are also honoring our veterans by the red, white, and blue cord, if you see that. Graduates in the first row, please come forward. The rest of the graduates may be seated until the marshal directs your rows to rise. Graduating with a master's in healthcare management, Rayleigh Moss. The next degree is a Bachelor in Healthcare Management, Erica Elizabeth Garcia. <clears throat> Stephanie Lacely Doan. Our next degree is a Bachelor in Health Information Management, Stanley Hardin Bailey. Our next degree is a Bachelor in Psychology, Dolores Ann Tunstall. Our next degree is a Bachelor in Computer Information Systems, Dr. Thomas Michael Vincent Redenbaugh. Melvin Stokes. Our next degree is an Associate of Occupational Therapy Assistant, Carly Bizell.
Alexis Raquel Castillo. Sam Nong Cheng. <laughs> Caitlin Alexandria Shore Clark. Amanda Jacqueline French. Vanna George. Rustin Godwin. Keiko Collins Hector. Gary Sean Howard. Michaela Gail Kearns. Sophia Samazada. Christian Markel Stringer. Maddie Morgan Whitehead. Lacey Woods. The next degree is Associate of Radiologic Technology, Lauren Chilucci Inique. <laughs> Jamal Elkin Armbrister. Cedric Renard Bailey. <laughs> Amanda Deanne Baker.
Tefsa, Fikadu, Bikasha. Carly Cephaly. Niku Nejafi Farlamand. Francesca Fewins. Ashley Garcia. <laughs> Cindy Huang. Ganesh Joshi. Morgan Bailey McCrory. Shamaya Shanta Nixon. Brianna Nicole Quinones. Kalida said Hassan. Our next degree is Associate in Diagnostic Sonography, Jasmine Nicole Ailey. Cody Capella. <laughs> Heavenly Felder. Vanessa Michelle Hood. <laughs> Haley Manchin. Sade Barton.
Diana Rios Martinez. Teresa McAllister. <laughs> Jessica Lynn Obadat. Anish M. Philippos. Janine Dries. Jessica Sailing. <laughs> Edric Dwayne Sizemore Jr. Crystal Sierra Williams. Our next degree is Associate of Massage Therapy, Naomi Betancourt. Claudia Lizette Lopez Ferretes. <laughs> Our next degree is Certificate of Massage Therapy, Catherine Elizabeth Allen. Anthony Allison. Dante Javon Bass. Olivia Nicole Berger. <laughs> Susie Berkebile. Nicolay Ruth Caffey. <laughs> Leomar Antonio Chow Jr.
Egla de la Vega. Megan Elizabeth Garrison. Ashley Jeanette Carella. Natalie Lara. Lydia Morales Lopez. Maria Munoz Rodriguez. Maria Rodriguez. Calandria Kishe Wheeler. Ladies and gentlemen, please give us graduates a round of applause. Please help me welcome back to the podium the president of Parker University, Dr. William Morgan. Thank you very much. And you've, this class put, went through a lot with that tornado. How many of you are in the massage therapy program? Your faculty saved your program. As you know, your building was... <laughs> it, yeah. They were out the day after that tornado saving everything. Well, it still could be because your building, is, for those who didn't know, we were hit by a, a large tornado. That building was utterly destroyed, and they really, all the other buildings we could shift around, but by their hard work, and everybody pretty much had to shift in there. Maybe not radiology, so I'm thinking about just having them shift so they can share the pain that everybody else has enjoyed. <laughs> but um, a lot of efforts. You put up with a lot. We appreciate with it, you doing so. Um, I think you look back at like, hey, where that class that went through there and when, when that tornado came through. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for all the faculty who went to great efforts to make sure you had a quality education. And uh, just 
we're just so proud of your, your graduating from Parker and look forward to great things from you. Now, each graduate was given a coin today to, as they passed the stage, in addition to their diploma. And the, the coin's one of those things we'd like you to, to keep as a memento to remember us. And we like to carry them around in our pockets. Of course, whenever there's a Parker uh, activity, you should have it with you. Otherwise, you might be buying the beverages. But this goes, <laughs> that's how th this rolls. So these, these coins, the history of these go back to the military, the Army. Several Army members were past the stage. So I'll, so I'll talk slow. So <laughs> I, was, I was Navy. So, so Army Special Forces in Vietnam, they had their unit coins. And what they would do they, these these coins would commemorate those who they went through training with and the training they'd gone through and those those they had served with and I'd like you to keep this as memento just to remember your time here and all Parker graduates get these coins and we carry them with us and on this are two of our our the Parker principles that we hold the most dear the first one is loving service which is our first technique it's all, we're all healthcare providers we're all about loving service and providing that to our patients. Also, the next one is develop a compassion to serve that is greater than your compulsion to survive. So please hold these in, in a special place for, for, for you and just remember us by this. Now it's my favorite time of the ceremony, and I think it'll be yours too. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me as president of Parker University by the Board of Trustees in the great state of Texas, I hereby decree confer upon you the degree of Master of Business Administration with a concentration in healthcare management. Master of Business Administration with a concentration in practice management. Bachelor of Business Administration with a concentration in healthcare management. Bachelor of Science with a major in computer information systems. Well, Bachelor of Science with a major in general studies. Bachelor of Science with a major in Health Information Management. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with a major in Psychology. Bachelor of Sci or Associate of Science with a major in Computer Information Systems. Associate of Applied Science in Massage Therapy. Associate of Applied Science in Occupational Therapy Assistant. Associate of Applied Science in Radi Radiologic, Radiologic Technology. <laughs> Associate of Applied Science and Sonography, cert Certificate in Information Technology, and a Certificate in Massage Therapy. With all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities hitherto pertaining, you may now move your tassel from the right side to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate him, the graduating classes of Business of Technology and Health Sciences. Now I'd like to bring up Dean Drew Rife to lead in the invocation or the benediction. Thank you. If you will, please join me to join the Parker University community in celebrating the accomplishments of this graduating class. Uh, a reception honoring the graduates will take place immediately after the commencement in the lobby located directly outside the doors behind the auditorium. Please meet your graduates there for pictures, refreshments, and continued congratulations from the faculty, staff, and the administration. Now, if you would, please join me in prayer, and please remain seated until all the students have exited the auditorium. Please play with me. This is a graduation benediction from St. Francis of Assisi. God, make me a channel of thy peace, that where there is hatred, I may bring love, that where there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness, that where there is discord, I may bring harmony, that where there is error, I may bring truth, that where there is doubt, I may bring faith, that where there is despair, I may bring hope, where there is shadows, I may bring thy light, where there is sadness, I may bring joy. God, grant that I may seek rather to comfort than to be comforted, to understand than to be understood, to love than to be loved. For it is by giving that one receives, it is by self-forgetting that one finds, it is by forgiving that one is forgiven, and it is by dying that one awakens to eternal life. Amen. And Felicia Dades. <laughs>